good morning from Nassau, Bahamas. Right now we're sailing into a beautiful sunrise and today we got the Margaritaville Resort in Nassau and it looks like we're here with Freedom of the Seas in a Disney ship so it's going to be a good day in Nassau. So I looked over to when Brittany brought her breakfast up and realized she was using a fork for her cereal. I have never seen that before. It didn't come in the sink and I didn't want to go back down to get one. All right. So it's the Disney dream with us. I was hoping it would be the Wish because I want to see their new ship. But still, I love the classic ocean liner look of the Disney ships. Just way too expensive for us to go on right now. So just like when we were here on the Mardi Gras back in February, it looks like there's a lot of port construction still going on. But what's cool is, along with holding bigger ships, it looks like there's going to be a new excursion zone over here for the other side of the port. So we'll have to see what it looks like when it's finished. Since I took a little longer than I wanted up top filming the arrival into Nassau, I brought my breakfast down here. We got some grits today, some eggs, chocolate muffin, and this new like cookies and cream type thing. It's really good, so if you have it on your ship, definitely try it. But we're going to get ready, and then we're headed to the Margaritaville Resort. So I'll see you guys when we get on the shore. can't fly a drone at the Margaritaville Resort, so I had to stop on the side of the sidewalk by the cruise ships to get that awesome drone footage. Now we're headed to the Margaritaville Resort. If you want to stop and get some Dunkin' on your walk to the Margaritaville Resort, that's actually a super nice Dunkin' there. So from the cruise port, the walk to the Margaritaville Resort is 0.6 miles or about 15 minutes worth of walking. And it's not bad at all, it's all city walking, so you get to see some of the sights of Nassau, good and bad, but yeah, it's not too bad. And after what felt like an actually short walk, we are here at the Margaritaville Resort. So instead of going to the main entrance, you're going to come to this yellow building here which is just off the main entrance there. So you'll come here for the day pass at Margaritaville. We're definitely going to be hitting this lazy river because this looks awesome. And we're going to be taking you guys on a short little tour through here because it is a beautiful resort just from the first impression of it. Really cool stuff here. Definitely is a beautiful resort here. If I liked Nassau more, I'd want to stay here, but I don't think I'd want to stay here for more than a couple days. So the Lazy River stretches around a big portion of the pool section, but then you got the water park here. And there is some cliff jumping. I believe it is up here, so we're going to go walk around here, see if we can see it up there. And here's the beach access at the Margaritaville. And really cool, off in the distance, we have the Carnival Freedom. 
They also have a wave rider here. I don't know if it's just closed for the day or if it's going to open up at a certain time. And then off to the left, they also have a rock wall. Really awesome. I'm not sure we'll get to that today, though, because we just kind of want to relax and soak up the sun. So right there is where you can do the cliff jumping, and it's 11 foot deep there. And there's also one of the backsides of the water park area. And then also really cool is up there is an infinity pool, which we'll go to later, but I can't wait to check that out. We came around the back side of the pool area. The pool area is right here. And we're on this little dock area. It looks like maybe they have excursions that go from here. You got a good view of the ships. And then we'll have the Carnival Freedom with no funnel, well, no whale tail coming in shortly. Look at that funnel. No whale tail on her. Still a beautiful ship. Another part I forgot to show you guys is the main pool here. You walk up on this wooden bridge. Then you can go left or right up here. And then here is your main pool. It's got a nice little screen there and a beautiful view of the Margaritaville Resort and Water Park. So before we jump in the water and have some fun, I do got to tell you guys, it is a $79 per person day pass. I don't believe it includes drinks and food, but you get the water park, the lazy river, the infinity pool. It's definitely worth it considering Atlantis is up to like $250 per person for the day. So yeah, come check out the Margaritaville Resort in Nassau, Bahamas. All right, I switched over to the GoPro. We're going to see if we can get in the lazy river now. So change of plans because the Lazy River and the water park doesn't open until 10 o'clock. Right now it's about 9.15, 9.30 ish. So we're gonna go snorkel at the beach real quick and that'll probably be the only time we go in that water because we're loving the vibe of this place so far. So we're just gonna stick up by the pool. Time to go try out the cliff jumping platform. Hopefully it's a lot of fun. Wow, that looks a lot higher than I thought. Woo. Well, <laughs> here goes nothing. Woo! Oh, that was awesome. All right, time to get a couple tubes. Woo, this current's actually really strong. This looks like it's going to be my tube. All right, time to get up. Oh, I thought I was going backwards. This lazy river right here is just worth the $79 per person. It's got some cool little found things throughout too. Do you like this lazy river, Brittany? Yeah, this is awesome. Such a relaxing day. Oh, this is going to be fun. God damn it, that's a lot of water. I've always been a fan of lazy rivers and this one here at the Margaritaville Resort is incredible. We are having a great time. We're definitely going to be going around this a few times. Even though these things keep soaking us, it's a hot day here in Nassau and it feels amazing. So really fun is right here. It's like a jet system and it just takes you off. Woo! We're taking a little break from the lazy river and we're going to go hit one of the water slides. All right, here we go. Nice view up here. There's the ships. And here we go. Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh, it's dark in here. So as we're going up to the adults only, which is the infinity pool, here's a little better look at some of the stuff that the water park has. It's a lot of fun, definitely worth the money to come here. So as the main pool area gets a little busier, we're up in the adults only section and there's barely anybody up here. We pretty much got the infinity pool all to ourselves here. So it's going to be a lot of fun to chill out up here for a little bit.
as you guys can see the views up here are absolutely breathtaking good view of the ship then you got a little bit of lighthouse nice beach and we're gonna swim up here for a little bit and then we're gonna go get some volcano nachos because lunch opens at noon and then sadly we have to go back to the ship at about two o'clock unfortunately the restaurant in there didn't have volcano nachos which we absolutely love at margaritaville so we're gonna head back to the ship now and get some good lunch even though it's two o'clock a better look at the no whale tail carnival funnel on the carnival freedom sunset blocked by the clouds well with what was actually an incredible day in Nassau Bahamas today we are officially done with this cruise we get off tomorrow in the morning I appreciate you guys for coming along there's more adventures in the future so I'll see you guys next time